Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Monk starting as the Peach. Can I do a color swap? Yes. Upper right hand corner, we have Monk starting as the Red Protoss. Six o'clock location, we have Fisheye starting as the Blue Protoss. I think that looks much better. This would be a little bit too close in color. For my purposes, this is going to be on Power Bond currently. Monk kind of greeting, being greedy in the last match and trying to stunt on his opponent and instead dropping a game to Fisheye. We'll see if he's going to try to do the, like, oh, I'm going to... I don't know if that's, like, the monkish thing of, like, I will show you your silly ways sort of thing. But usually when an actual monk tries to do that, like, in fighting combat, they end up uh, victorious. In this case, I think we've seen several losses from monk in that regard. I think Fisheye is a, si is a decent match, honestly, if he's playing his sharpest. This is... On, so it's a three-player isometric. I think it plays a little bit more like a four-player, and it reminds me a bit more of the old-school style of map because you have this lone mineral only. You do have the open gas here at the corner. Some bridges to deal with, but you can see where there's a lot of space to swarm around at that stage in a large middle open area otherwise. Statist uh, statistics, of course, though, for PvP on Power Bond are dead even. A little bit of a joke there. Initial gateway planted, Fisheye starting to move out. This is one differentiation between Monk and Fisheye and where that might have been... It's the small things that grow to the large things, right? The, the Kind of the snowball effect. And having that earlier scout does decrease the amount of minerals that Fisheye is getting in the bank. So it can be a sizable advantage here. It looks like he's going to open up with the two gateway zealot pressure. We do have one gate assimilator and also that probe is going to get first scout should be able to even aid hopefully the background noise didn't end up on the commentary there got a bunch of stuff running in the background i've got a dishwasher and a dryer and just leaving it hopefully it doesn't pick up on the mic probe gets initial information going to scoot around be a little bit annoying maybe even threaten a pylon blockade see if he gets an opportunity for a mana pylon starting to attack the probes that are mining and gas I'm waiting to see if there is initial zealot construction from... Okay, we do have that first zealot being built. In the meantime, Fisheye has that first zealot. is going to hold short and then stagger his way out. Fisheye is taking a little bit of, it, of base shield damage. Cybernetics core finished. Now for Monk. And the first zealot will be in place. It looks like Fisheye currently, rather than pressing the point... Going to hold position. We're, ooh, look at this. Seeing fake weapons one. So giving the impression that there is range upgrading. In fact, there's no range upgrading, which is a signal that Monk wants to go either for a DT build or a quick Reaver build. Initial probe making its way out. The three zealots marching their way, their way across the map. Does the probe... The probe catches the edge of it. So, yeah, and I do believe Monk got eyes on that because he's going to drop a shield battery on the front. Cybernetic score about halfway finished there for Fisheye. He's got gas mining as well. Monk with his probe in the base as well. So three zealots going to be engaging a Dragoon and a single zealot. Second Dragoon actually supply blocked a bit. So it's going to be a while before that second zealot's out, and it is going to be an immediate tech to Robo as the three zealots make their way to the front, both of them unfortunately focusing on different targets. Shield battery re-engaging, one zealot down. Usually to get this sort of breach, you want to be focusing on the single target, but just the angle potentially not allowing it. Probe not able to quite fire over that edge, so it looks like Monk, well, no, never mind. Zealot dies, single zealot makes its way in. Another probe actually pulled off the line to attack, but it looks like with just a three zealot dedication, Fisheye not getting a lot out of it. It's still going to be ahead in probes, and oh, almost getting a probe kill is creating some disruption on the mineral line otherwise. Gets one probe kill, which gives him an overall three worker lead. And with two Dragoons produced, Monk doesn't really have the counter capability, and that Robo has been spotted immediately by Fisheye. So moved in with that second probe, and the Dragoon's not even able to stop the follow-up scout so that shield battery costing monk a bit early now that that probe's been wiped out let's see if monk he's saved gas he looks like he's going to go for that nexus at his natural expansion as a quick follow-up grab 
the dragoons being created in large numbers keep in mind with that range finishing if monk doesn't go robo here okay now getting the robotic support bay it is possible that fisheye with dragoon range could punish this he's not made any motions to go ahead and grab his natural expansion and right now he's overall even on the worker count which means monk is going to have a sizable economic lead and monk is going to for a second there yeah he's already staging up to maybe go for a quick third which depending on fisheye's build here could be disaster fisheye right now dropping robotics facility of his own let's see if he attacks forward with his own dragoons i don't know that range has even started on monk's side of the map he's going to go for the scarab damage upgrade before even constructing the first Reaver. What is this build? Shuttle making its way out as though there were a Reaver in it. I don't think that's going to fool Fisheye, though. Mostly providing forward scouting, I assume. Completely empty. I, just a bluff to try to draw Fisheye back, and he is presuming this could be a game-ending maneuver. So four versus six now, and these do not have range. Probe's trying to evacuate. And this is already at a worker deficit, so this is going to be a dead Nexus. That shuttle just sitting above the Nexus in the meantime. A bit flaccid. Not able to accomplish anything. And more Zealots marching their way out. We do have this probe that could drop another Nexus, but losing 400 minerals at your natural. Okay, now a Reaver finally out. For Monk, that could do some damage. The shuttle's already taken a bit of damage at Fisheye's side of the map. Fish I going to go ahead and drop his natural expansion, depending on how these Reavers position, how I should say the Dragoons position, they might be able to block out Monk from his natural for quite some time. Range just a third finish, and that Reaver needs to be very, very careful. He's gotten a couple free pot shots here, but if it wanders too far down that ramp, could easily be picked off. So shuttle returning to the front. Now there's a bit of a conundrum. <laughs> Looks like Monk is going to try to equalize things by grabbing a third, or his, his second, at the natural expansion. That Reaver, however, went too far down, got one Dragoon for its efforts. And now Fisheye, honestly, there, there's a shield battery there, so I don't know that he really wants to break. But he is gathering up more troops to continually deny that natural expansion. Still sizable worker lead for Fisheye. He's going to end up with that... And keep in mind also, Monk cannot reinforce... To that third, Monk using Gaussian tactics, I should say. Oh, he's going to load up the shuttle? That's kind of a clever maneuver. Let's see if Fisheye is able to sniff this out. This is going to be a very perilous journey. And does Fisheye see it? Okay, he sees that shuttle exiting to the north. Takes a shot. Monk pulls it back. Recognizing it's going to get spotted. And Fisheye may be going to go for what would have been potentially a risky third himself at the 3 o'clock location, but going to be a very easy take as things stand and sees the shuttle sneaking out again. And it's just going to... That shuttle does not have speed. Shuttle speed still upgrading, so that's going to be a dead 8 probes. Also, this could guide if Monk's not careful. Yeah, he needs to move it away from that third. Another shuttle also taking damage on the low ground. Still haven't seen an, an additional Reaver out. Yeah, the shuttle basically stranded one hit away from death. Natural expansion humming. Reaver's out. So Monk does have a tech lead. He just can't do anything with it. And let's see once Fisheye moves up and sees the four gateways and a lack of troops otherwise. Oh, man. This is... Okay, this was a big mistake for Monk. He should have just sacked the shuttle because now that third... Or sorry, that natural expansion... Well, the second, I should say, has been found. And Fisheye can just move troops that direction and easily wipe everything out. Walking his way out, that's shutting Monk down to a base. It looks like one probe has managed to box that Dragoon in. So they're going to get taken out otherwise. But it's going to be a short follow-up for Fisheye to just crush that. And there's no way for Monk to really defend. Huge lead currently, macro-wise, for Fisheye. Reaver is just now being produced. Now a Zealot and a Dragoon, and that might be all it takes here. Top left, a pylon blockade from one ramp side. A probe has actually snuck through enemy lines. The shuttle with speed nearly getting taken out. So we got two shuttles, I assume, for Monk to try to elevator some troops out. Could be a tall order. Two gateways attempting to be morphed 
top left, but this might just be donating. Oh, that is bugging out the Dragoon, but that... <laughs> this is unbelievable. Crazy play. So that's going to be six gateways overall. We do have a lot of shuttles scooping up. We do have the pylons there at the three o'clock. I'll try to keep an eye here. I don't think these gateways are going to warp online and have any sort of support. Let's see if Fisheye spots this with that pylon to his right and draws troops back. This could actually could be a devastating maneuver because it's only going to be four Dragoons. One of those shuttles easily could be wiped out. Another pylon spot. So he's had two opportunities on the map. Positioned a little bit to the corner. And I'll be honest, with that Reaver out now, I don't know that Monk can defend or that he'll get anything accomplished with that. The Gateway trying to do what it can. It looks like the Zealot's been taken out there as well. A Reaver and a Shuttle making its way up here on top of everything else. Zealot's dropping versus three Dragoons. That Reaver just needs to crawl its way back. That should be sufficient. And this is just going to be a trade for a trade overall. Actually, that Reaver, that might be the Reaver that was in the shuttle. But easy, easy defense. Monk at half the probe count right now. So these Zealots need to do some amazing work. And I just don't see it happening. In the meantime, trying to go down his ramp, but loses the Reaver immediately. is going to continue to lose troops to try to retake that natural expansion. So lost the base, maybe got some position to take an additional base. The Zealots wiped out there. Double supply lead for Fisheye. That might be a larger count in army size than it looks like a bit, only because there's such a gigantic worker lead. Monk at least out on the map, kind of running out and rolling and trying to do what he can. It looks like he wants to maybe try to salvage this base upper left. Fisheye <laughs> dropping pylons to make sure that additional bases can't be snuck at additional corners. And the other problem for Monk is as he's boxed himself out. He might be able to save this Nexus briefly. Fisheye scooping up. Exiting. Couple rounds of shots. Not able... Ooh, Shuttle just barely makes it out. So yeah, saves the Nexus, but didn't save any of the probes. So now he needs some speed shuttle magic to be able to pull things out. We do have a sizable gateway count for Fisheye. He just needs to macro up. Yeah, and keep scouting exterior locations and he'll be okay monk starting to gather troops he's going to need some miracle engagements also shuttle speed not that far away citadel of dune being constructed i'm looking for templar archives as well on fisheye's side of the map troops wandering out towards the three o'clock it looks like engaging just a pylon right there fisheye moving out with another sizable attack force the shuttle going to get spotted as it's making its way across let's see if he finds it and reacts again. I don't see any troops moving that direction. So this Reaver might be the magic that's needed. Same magic a lot, this cast for some reason. That's going to be the magical word. Probes trying to attack as they can. So Fisheye getting caught off guard because he was engaging Monk's attack force and having a very late response. It looks like he's still going to be able to pull a lot of probes out. It's going to be a minute before he's going to have additional troops out of his gateways. But even with this, an oversaturated base there. Monk is still relegated to the main, and he's losing probes once again, so it's still going to be two base versus one. It would be incredible, and inc I would be incredulous if this Reaver was able to wipe anything out. Start working on the cybernetics core to try to equalize things a little bit, so taking down tech and just being annoying here. Fisheye now drawing back with some of the attack forces. He still has a latent Dragoon right there, and he's got to be, like, pulling his hair with Monk at this stage. Massive worker lead. It's not translating into wins right now. That Nexus still stands. The Reaver at least was able to escape. So it was, I mean, massive victory because at the very least, you're able to pull units back. Monk still sitting at 11 workers overall. Lost that Nexus top left now. That Reaver finally able to close things out. Some photon cannons dropping to at least negate some of that additional problem. Do we have another cybernetic score someplace? That cybernetic score being built at the natural. Monk moving out once again. Suicide in there to try to get a shot. And it's going to be a dud. Monk going for, it looks like, one final maneuver. Fisheye, oh, out of position. No troops at his natural. If Monk wins this, I'm going to just, I will be flabbergasted. So, some cannons warping in. Fisheye now repositioning. Now keep in mind, this is a actually pretty big army from Monk. And he's got, at least for the moment, superior positioning. The Reaver is going to have to do some work. 
One Reaver exposed, so one Reaver already taken out. A couple Dragoons trying to do their best, but now the rest of that army is boxed in and sacrificed. Able to get a lot of workers killed at the at the natural, though. Still not enough to even up the overall worker count. Three Dragoons in the natural remain for Monk's army. 21 workers, 20 workers left for Fisheye. This is turning into a wild one. Ultimate Protoss play in the late stages. The Observer remains alive, but that is going to be it for Monk's army, and he does he's just limping in resources at this stage. He's only got the 11 workers to work with, period. Fisheye can still rebuild, still has... He's got plenty of minerals at his main. Still got... It's hard to do the flip mineral count thing. I wish I could flip this to the top, is what I wish. Fisheye, once again, back out on the map. Should be able to just march up... Also, mistake here for Monk, double observatory. This is definitely a say GG moment. Where, and it's a bit insulting, so I'm going to go more to Monk being a little bit petulant, but he's loading up the Zealots to go for yet another potential attack rather than engaging any place. Single Dragoon dealing with troops there. This is turning into... This is turning into a, uh, I don't know what to call it. Angry match? The series will be tied up 2-2 after this one. So four Zealots making their way in. Not dropping. The three Dragoons should be, and the Reavers, should be plenty to deal with it otherwise. And is Monk going to wait until the final building is destroyed before he GG's here? Because that's what it's looking like here. Okay, finally calling the GG. Oof. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. <laughs> Give a like and subscribe if you did. Share with a friend. Appreciate your viewership as always. Thank you for listening.